The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, our guest today will be Norm Winsky of Astro Trends. Tomorrow we're going to have, as our guest, will be uh, Stan Harley. On Wednesday we're going to have Jim Bartoglioni. On Friday we'll have Mike Moore. And on, uh, excuse, on Thursday will be Mike Moore. And on Friday will be... Uh, <laughs> And Friday, it will be a travel day for me. I happen to be out of the state. I happen to be here in California visiting the little ones. Well, they're not little anymore, but haven't seen them in a while. And it's a big surprise thing that we've got planned for daughter number one. Now, we're going to take a look here at this chart that Jeff posted. It's a beautiful Gartley, excuse me, a 135 pattern on the euro. You can see the symmetry in this, folks. Just absolutely beautiful. And the most amazing thing, I didn't update this, but we've rallied over $700 here in the euro since that uh, point ABCD was met down there at that 108.90. I mean, that's just a, a beautiful tribute to how these patterns do work. He should be proud of himself for figuring out the way that he did it perfectly. He also pointed out that uh, point 0.5 was an exact 3.82 of point 0.3. And point 0.3 was exact 3.82 of point 0.1. All the things that we try to talk about here. Uh, when we're doing these shows to give us a rough idea. Now, I wanted to show you just a couple here last night because these were these were rather unusual given the fact that, you know, we had so many things going on. The most amazing one, of course, uh, hold on one second here. That's just for the longer term. I want to get this shorter one up here. This happens to be uh, the crude oil last night. And uh, remember, we were looking at that three drive to a top pattern up there at that 84 a 75 level and uh, what we're going to do now is to bring this chart up with a little bit of luck and uh, we've got uh, Jim from uh, Florida is talking to us he wants to talk to us about uh, wheat well I'm not in wheat anymore partner they knocked me out and so I'll wait tomorrow to see what the retracement is what can I do for you buddy um, it's one good thing about playing poker Larry is you can put your headphones on and you can listen to um, some of your um, the Beach uh, Boys updates on video when you can't you can't catch up to them. So I was listening. You're talking about you're going to take a shot at because of the 13 periods evened out on the long on wheat, mm -hmm. yes. and I was not able to get into it. Early in the morning, I started looking at the chart, and I did the uh, looked at the chart right around 11:30 when we were holding that 631.75. So I I'm long at 633. My oh, question now, great. I see now that it's gone to the 786 of the day. I'm looking on a five make minute chart at 641 and a quarter mm -hmm. where would you put your stop in this because this could be a home I, run I, I would put um, it at break even. a good entry point on the long on the wheat put it at break even don't risk it don't risk a penny you've got a 10 cent lead in it today should be the bottom day in the news of course was very bearish to wheat that's one of the reasons why it's pushing it down but the soybeans were very strong today and so that's telling us that these market might have a major bottom in here I actually took a nibble at it from the long side and uh, took a small loss in it, but, you know, had some other trades. The crude, short crude oil was working out really good, and we had some uh, long stocks that were doing pretty good. And, of course, short the gold, or long, but we were short gold. We got to cover it, but we didn't, weren't able to buy it. But that's what you want to do is keep your, keep your chips as close to your vest as you possibly can, Jim, because it'll give you a chance to play the game for a very, very long time. Most people buy something and they don't put a stop in they use the modified hope and pray method and uh, I used to use those many years ago but those prayers were never answered so I have to take the responsibility myself and I put the order in and I'm only right about six out of ten times at the best sometimes only four out of ten but you know Jim on the trades that I'm only hitting four out of ten I'm making a lot more money than I am on when I'm hitting six out of ten don't know the answer to that, but you know I, I go through all of my my trading. In fact, I should show that to the folks here one of these well, days. And, and just, you know, one of my problems I I use that that terrible four letter word hope, 
uh, oh yeah, that's a that's and, a, you know, that's hoping a killer. For the break even <laughs> or hoping for the turn and and um, yeah, that little that's, loss turns into a couple hundred dollar loss. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I'll tell you, hope is not a trading word. That is a word for the churches and stuff like that. But uh, it's not good for trading. You have to take the responsibility yourself and, and do it that way. And if you do, you'll be fine. But most people just won't take that responsibility. I was able to spend some time with uh, Paula Webb here these last uh, couple of days. And uh, it was just amazing the stories that we remembered about Mark and how many people he worked with and the things he had to do to get them to do the right thing. It, w it was really an amazing couple of days with her. And uh, we were the remnant, oh, just the thoughts of, well, in fact, we're going to, I think Paul and I are going to do a seminar together uh, this spring over in uh, Tucson. So get some traders together for a couple of days, bring in uh, some guys that we've traded through the past, Rich Anderson and a few other people, and we'll have a nice trading session for a couple of days. So anyway, I hope that helps. Does that help? And, you and the other I question think, I want to talk about, if, if you have, will you have time to look at, at the E-mini? Because it, I'm looking again oh, at the yeah. market. The market advanced decline and are telling, telling us that something's wrong. And whoa, we have 1,100 up and 1,600 down. Yeah. And um, so I'm looking at a place to go short here. But I well, haven't had a chance to analyze that chart on, on the E-mini. E the E-mini e yesterday on, thir on Friday made up exact 78% retracement at uh, four. The uh, fact is I'll bring that chart up so we can take a look at it together. I was going to be talking about it today. We might as well uh, do that right now. Oh, please tell me you came up, you little rascal. No, it looks like we're not going to be doing that one. Anyway, I did have it here, but I don't know what happened to it now. So anyway, the low on Friday, uh, Thursday was uh, 44.61. That was a 44.62. 44.62 was a 78. We rallied all the way up to 05. Uh, we took a trip up there again today. We're pretty close, not too far away from that right now. But I think we have to close above uh, 4510 to really get the market momentum going. The thing that's most scary, Jim, is that the um, Dow Jones has, in the last 10 to 12 trading days, has not been able to only make the 382 retracement five times. In other words, it can't get below that. And uh, that would be down about 250 points on the Dow Jones if it did that today. And if it did that, then it would say, yep, this thing has legs to the downside. But right now, that is not a, bullet, a bearish looking chart. I posted that at the start of the show because to me, I, I thought it was just absolutely amazing. that. The, and I know it's only 30 stocks, but uh, they're, they're the big stocks. So 16 of those stocks are, you know, triple digits. So it's, it's our key index. And I'm just surprised that it hasn't broken as much. Look at how much the NASDAQ broke. And and even the S&P, the S&P broke 80 handles. You know, we didn't do that in some of these others. So that's why it looks uh, so interesting. Like, you know, got the NASDAQ and the S&P making new highs right now. And yet, the, the, you know, the, the, the Dow Jones is still lagging behind so far. But that's still, you know, real early in the game for the way I look at it. Yeah, I guess we're, we're now, uh, now that you mentioned, I'm looking at that 4599 just sitting there. Um, so we'll, there's we'll a lot of resistance be at 45.10. And, and, and watch. Say, say but, again, uh, please. It's, it's interesting how the, the NAS is up um, 132. Yes, and that's right. The, uh, we're struggling. We're struggling with the Dow. Yeah, we're going to find Talk out. Talk soon. Sure. Thanks for your good work. Hey, thanks for calling in, Jim, from Palm Harbor. Love you, buddy. Take it easy. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. Tigers. Candlestick Pattern Analysis is a primary tool among successful traders, and you should be no different. Candlestick Patterns can demystify buy points, sell points, general price movement, and so much more. At 4 p.m. on Monday, August 14th, trader Teddy Kekstadt will be hosting a live, hour-long webinar on Japanese candlestick patterns. Teddy, the author of the Tiger Forex Report, has been trading for 33 years, and candlestick patterns have been instrumental to his success. For just $97, see how to use candlestick patterns to analyze stocks and options in order to capitalize on market swings, increase your odds of success, and decrease your risk. During this live webinar, you will learn when to use and when not to use Japanese candlestick patterns in this volatile market. Dispel the myths about this strategy and see just how much the mastery of candlestick pattern recognition can impact your trading. Visit TFNN.com today. TFNN. 
Educating Investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. C C call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're back, and I wanted to talk about the wheat market. I wanted to show the folks the pattern that we've been waiting for for quite a while, and it looked like it was set up perfectly. Uh, actually, in, in early in the evening, it didn't get down there, and uh, then it rallied up a little bit, and then it dropped another 30 cents, uh, 20 cents from 5, uh, 659 down to, well, a little more, 26 cents down to 632. I think 631 and a half was the uh, was the lower cents, bounced back 10 cents. At the 641. The way I'll handle that now is I took the eight cent loss. Actually, as soon as it got filled, the first thing I did was to send out a notice that's saying, "Hey, boys and girls, let's only risk eight cents in this because if this doesn't hold, you know, there's not going to be any prisoners." Of course, that didn't take any, and they pushed it all the way down. So what I'll do now is I'll wait for a small ABCD pattern here over the next day or so, as long as this. Uh, 631 holds, but uh, it has the possibility because of the time down. That's just a simple time count, folks. Number of days up versus number of days down. And that many times will give you an absolute spot on place to uh, put a position on. That's what we thought. But again, we don't, you know, no one knows what's going to happen next. That's why when you, when you take a loss, you just move on to the next one and don't worry about it. I mean, there's nothing else you can do. You're never going to know what's right, and you know because no one knows the future. That's why you got to use stops and you know have a preparation to say this is where I can't take the heat anymore and get out, move on to something new. You know, I, I mentioned to Jim in Palm Harbor when I'm only hitting on about 30 or 40 percent of my trades, I I make more than if I'm hitting on 65 or 70 percent of my trades. I don't hit 65, 70 percent very often. I'm usually in the ballpark of 50 to 60%, uh, but my goodness, you know, the payoffs are, you know, one and a half to three times what I'm risking, and <laughs> you don't get those odds at an insurance company or in casino anywhere. That's not going to happen, so that's why you've got to be able to do that, is to find out what your strategy is, a methodology that you can believe in. Mine happens to be ABCD, and that's all I'm watching. That's, that, that's the whole premise of uh, everything that I do. I wanted to share couple of charts here re relating to the grain market. Uh, this happens to be the corn carryout that uh, Rich Anderson was kind enough to send us. I wanted to bring it up here so you'd be able to see it. You'll see here that there's a lot of corn 
that they're going to be carrying out here, which is the reason why we're having, because corn is the major grain, uh, second is soybeans, and third is the wheat. And so that's why it's selling, you know, it's selling off is because there's so much supply in not only in corn, but also in the soybeans. And I wanted to let you take a look at this one, too, because this shows you that the carryout for world soybeans, we've got plenty of them. Well, plenty of them can disappear in a heartbeat if the weather gets really hot back there and they don't get any rain because we're in the midst of the pollination season now for uh, the uh, for the soybeans. That means that this is when the pods are formed. And so, you know, you've got to be able to get a lot of water to them in nice warm weather. The warm weather is great as long as you can get water. Without the, that, it's not, uh, it's not a good deal. So those are a couple things that we're paying very close attention to uh, here today. All right, now let's move on here. And I wanted to cover Treasury bonds, folks, because I believe we're in the midst of a very, very, very negative environment here in Treasury bonds. I want to get this up here and show you uh, what we're watching here, hopefully. And hopefully it's a, it's a technical word, but not related to trading. Okay, there it is right there. There's the long-term picture here on the daily. You can see the multiple ABCD patterns coming in down there at that uh, 109 level. And that's a long way from where we are right now. So we're watching to see what kind of rally we might get here over the next couple of weeks. And then we'll look to get short and write it down to that 109, 110 level. And then from there, we'll bounce back a little bit, and then who knows where it's going to go from here. If the major cycle has topped in interest rates, i.e. higher interest rates, these bonds are going to go back to where they were back in 1982. They're going to drop in by about their, their face value right now. So they can drop 30 or 40%. And what that does is the price of the bond goes down, the yield goes up because they have to get people to come in and buy the bond, and then it gives the illusion of interest rates that are just getting ready to go through the roof. And I don't know if that's going to be the case or not. That's why I always follow the uh, pictures of the, uh, let's try it again, Larry, the, the charts of the uh, NASDAQ, because those are the ones that make things move, especially now with this rally that we have going on in stocks. Well, there's a rally in the NASDAQ. Of course, it's up 113, Dow's up 20. Uh, Dow's up 15, S&P's up 20. So that's telling you that this, uh, uh, really the, the market is being led by the NASDAQ, which should be because look how hard these mega stocks have gotten massacred. And they certainly have been. They got hit really, really bad. I wanted to point out that this uh, picture in the euro uh, that Jeff was so kind because this is the one that I was watching. I was looking at uh, my own chart package and it's a clear white uh, background, but you'll be able to see it here. This is a shows you the beautiful. This is the end of the three drive uh, 135 pattern. This was 0.5 right at the 61 percent retracement. And when it got down there, it was completing, believe it or not, it was completing a perfect ABCD pattern there. And it's rallied 70. I just checked it. It's rallied 75 pips from point D. I mean, you know, that's not, you don't have to be a you know, rocket scientist to figure that one might work. I mean, that's, that's what you're trying to see. And uh, those are the main things that you're, that you're paying close attention to when you're watching some of these things. I, I hope that makes sense because that's what we're watching here. So I think that's what it is, but you, know, you never know. The one that was frustrating, let me get this up I here. I, I did bring this up because someone asked me about what happens now. And that is here uh, in the gold market. There it is right here. So give me one second. And then we'll have uh, Mr. Winsky come on here pretty soon and give us some ideas of what he's looking at. And we get the window change in. Okay, here is the chart of the uh, gold. Now, you can see here where it says buy at 1933. Well, the low today was 1934. It's rallied about 11 or $12. Now, that's still going to be an outstanding target. So if we go down and make a slightly lower O, that's still going to be a, a, a valid target. So uh, we're watching that 1933 level in the gold. Stop would be at uh, 1923 because that's ten dollars, a thousand bucks on a contract that's worth a little over 100 and let me see, 193 thousand uh, dollars. That's a lot of that's a lot of chump change, folks. So we don't want to be chumpy. We just want to take the change. So remember here, folks, it's not how much money you make. 
It's about how much money you don't lose. So remind yourself of that each day, and you'll be far better off than if you don't. So we've got a break coming up, and then we're going to have the Wizard Winsky here, and he's always got some great information. As I mentioned, tomorrow we have Stan Harley. On Wednesday, we have Jim Bartoleone of Bart's Charts. On Thursday, we have Mike Moore. And on Friday, that'll be a travel, <clears throat> that'll be a travel day for me. <clears throat> and I'll be heading back uh, to Arizona. So let's, uh, I'll tell, well, we'll get to take care of Mr. Winsky here. And maybe if you have a human interest story, I'll uh, tell you that at the end of the show today. So stay tuned. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts who help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I believe we have in the house Mr. Norm Winsky of Astro Trends. Norm, how are you doing? Great, uh, great, Larry. Can you hear me okay? Coming in perfect. 10-4. Why don't you go ahead and start? Okay. Well, I was last on your show, I believe, on uh, July 14th. And we had, let's see, one, two, three, five points I, for, I had to just tell you about. So we're going to go uh, briefly review those, and then I'll be telling you what's coming up here in the next uh, week or two, you know? 
Let's go. So uh, uh, the 14th, that was a weekend. That was a Friday. That was Friday. AC, if you see AC on my notes there, hopefully you can see my notes. It says AC after the close, so that would be over the weekend. And uh, PM, of course, is afternoon. And then uh, and then AM, of course, the morning. So anyway, we had uh, uh, one for the, over the weekend. Had Pluto line up with the U.S. chart. So by the time we have that, we anything we have somebody line up with the U.S. chart, that's U.S. stocks, T-bonds, and U.S. dollar. Then the afternoon of the 17th, we had a new moon in Cancer. And any time we have a new moon, full moon, we round up the usual suspects, which are financials, grains, precious metals. And in this case, in particular, we were interested in taking a look at silver because that's how it silver is Cancer and ruled by the moon. That's well, kind of a double whammy there, having a new moon in Cancer. So we emphasize silver. We'll see how that worked out in, in a few minutes. And then we had Jupiter to the U.S. chart. Again, U.S. stocks, T-bonds, U.S. dollar. After the close of the 17th and the morning of the 19th, we had Uranus to the U.S. chart. U.S. stocks, T-bonds, U.S. dollar. And because it was to the U.S. Neptune, we also included oil. Then the night of the 21st into the morning of the 22nd, uh, 21st, was that a weekend? Yeah, it was a weekend. Into, mo into Monday, over the weekend, into Monday's opening on the 24th, we had Venus and Leo turn retrograde. Venus markets and, Le and Leo are cattle, copper, corn, cotton, gold, sugar, wheat. So here we go. Here's the first chart. There's corn. We had two points for the corn. We had the moon. And we had Venus and Leo turning retrograde, and there they are. There's the moon pulling back into the new moon there. And then we had a, a pull back low there also for Venus turning retrograde right there. So we had two potential winners. My measurement is, did you have a chance to make some money? We look to, you know, look for reversals, you know, look on the buy on weakness, sell on strength. We want to get this right within one trading day. If we're not right within one trading day, I count it wrong with a red arrow. And if it's going sideways, I mark it with a yellow box to say that that's a pass. We did nothing because it's, for, it's Newton's law. For every action, there's an opposite equal reaction. And the bigger the move, the bigger the potential reaction. That's what we're looking for. In a little while, I got one of these charts was like the ideal model. We'll get to that in a few minutes. Here's a little pullback low there into the moon for your beans, and they rallied uh, from the from that point there and here's the wheat you were talking about wheat and we got something coming up here in the wheat in the next uh, few days i pulled back low there in the wheat right in the new moon and then it pulled back for the venus point right there and that's a nice low there and then you had a what was that about uh 20 looks like about a 60 80 cent move there let's see from 720 up to eight bucks that's 80 cents that's huge right Right, Larry? That's a huge move. And yeah, then we had the uh, cattle. That, there you go. I got. I do have some misses. Their cattle just uh, kept going lower and well, went lower one day and just went sideways, so you didn't really have any chance to make any money. You would have had to wait a whole week for that trade to become profitable. That's not acceptable. Uh, cotton was kind of going sideways here for a, a couple of days, so I marked that as a pass. Here's my sort of close is probably going to get to the ideal model of what we're looking for. Our, uh, sugar is ruled by Venus. By the way, if you're a GAN student, uh, GAN was friends with a, a well-known astrologer in his day by the name of Safariel. If you've ever gone through GAN's reading list, he has Safariel in there. Safariel wrote a book called, wrote a series of books on different commodities. One of them was the key to sugar. And this, uh, uh, 20, 30 years after I figured out that Venus was sugar, uh, Safari, I found this book, Safari's book, The Key to Sugar, and he said exactly what I'd found, so that's kind of neat. Anyway, there we go, Venus attorney retrograde there, so we're looking for a Venus market to turn, and they're right on the high there. You got sugar making a nice top, it went up, up, up into that point, and then it went down, down, down. Here's the crude oil, making a little short-term top there on our Neptune point to the U.S. chart in the morning of the 19th. And uh, copper had a little pullback low there. That was a Venus point, and then a big rally. That's a lot of money there, Larry. You got, uh, <laughs> let's see, from well, 380 up to about 20 cents. There's, I think that's about $5,000 for 
or copper. Exactly what it is. Here's yeah. silver just going sideways. So we took a pass, unfortunately, because that was kind of a featured, potential featured market. But if it's going sideways, we do nothing. Here's gold had a pullback into the moon. And then we had Venus and Leo. Gold is a Leo market. And so the next day it made a low and then rallied. You had a chance to make some money there. And here's the S&P. We had five points for the S&P. Pull back a little there. Then we had a, a, a point right after that. And, and that it was not helpful. So that's a miss. And then it was, went sideways for a pass. But here we go. We have a nice one here. Uh, the morning of the 19th had a nice short-term top there. That dropped about from 45.80 down to about 45.12. Well, 60 handles there. And then we just went sideways. So we had uh, so that about two out of three actual date, tradable dates and two out of the three were winners. Uh, when I t presented the S&P last month, I went off on a little bit of a tangent. This is not going to apply to my official record here, uh, hopefully. <laughs> but I invoked Mr. Fibonacci and said that based on the decline that we had last year, 2022, of, we dropped from the high to the low of 1,327 handles, and that the S&P seems to like a 786 retracement better than it does a 618 retracement. I threw out the idea that perhaps since we were approaching that level, which was 4535, perhaps the S&P might stop there and make it an important top. Well, as it turned out, Mr. Fibonacci decided to take a vacation in July. And as you can see there, it just kept going up, up, up into way it went through that level there like a hot knife through butter. So that was like a nothing, you know. So I don't know what happened there, but the, Mr. F the Fibonacci 786 did not work very well for that. Here's a T-Bonds. We had a pullback low into our U.S. point there. Then we had a, a, a bad one there with the next morning. We had a point there which didn't do anything for us. Then we went sideways, and then we had a, a day of the high there on the morning of the 19th. And then that was the high of the month, I believe. You had a this is a double top. I looked it up, exact double top of that high over there. So it was the the high of the, uh, matched the high of the month there. And then down, down, down. Here the dollar. We had a four uh, kind of a three to four day cluster here for the dollar. And you can see that we made a top there. We made a low there, and we made a. You were just past that low there, and then you're retesting the low of the month right there. And so those were all winners. Here's two of the more popular currencies. You got your British pound. Okay. Right Norm, the date. hold that. Yes, sir. Hold the thought, Norm. We got to pay a few bills, okay? Start with okay. the Swiss franc when we come back, okay? Norm Whiskey, yes, folks. Astro Trends, the Beverly Hills of Florida, Naples. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks. We're speaking with Norm Winsky of Astro Trends. Please continue, Norm. Thank you, Larry. I just want to, before I get back into this, I want to remind everybody, I realize if you're new to this, this stuff looks complicated, but it really isn't. Once you get used to the terminal, new terminology and so forth, there's nothing here that I can teach a 10-year-old. As a matter of fact, I did teach a 10-year-old, my son, this stuff. And, uh, you know, and so there's no high math here. I, I couldn't do it if there were. And so it's all pretty simple stuff, you know. And the system is real simple. It tells you when to look at the market, what date. And you look at the market, see if it's going up, going down, or going sideways. If it's going up, we're looking to sell. If it's going down, we're looking to buy. And then, of course, you use, always use a stop loss if you get in and determine, you know, get into that. If you call me, I'll give you a free class on risk management and so forth if you'd like. So there we go. Well, let's go back into it. Here's two of the more popular currencies. There's your moon right there, the afternoon of the 17th. One day past the high. The British pound made the high of the month just ahead of the moon. And there the euro made its high. Uh, just wait, that was, wait, yeah, just a high. And the, the euro did the, oh, the euro made its high just after the moon. That was it. Okay, there we go. So we were in each case, we were within one day of the turn, the big turn in the, those markets. Uh, adding up the green arrows and red arrows, you got 20 winners, three misses out of 23 for 86.96%. Okay, here's uh, your 86%. That That's nine, almost nine out of ten, Norm. Uh, well, I'll, I'll try harder next time, okay? Yeah, what I mean, you got to stop these losses, Norm. You got to tighten it up a bit. I got to focus more, right, Larry? <laughs> <laughs> Gora, that's a terrific, uh, terrific model. Okay. Go ahead, please. All right, anyway, so you'll have to take my word for it that I do these in advance. This is sort of Bradley inspired, but I made lots of changes to the old Bradley model there, if you're from the familiar with Bradley's model, using the planets, uh, assigning uh, values to the planetary events, and then plotting it on a graph. That's the blue line. I do that in advance. And then as we go along the month and at the end of the month, I overlay the S&P 500 10-minute bars, and you can see there's a fair amount of correlation there between the two. This was for July. Okay, there's your dates across the top. They're starting on the 3rd of July and running through the 28th. Okay, I have these in advance. They're in the every month's letter. I've been doing that for, geez, since 40 some, some years, you know, since back in the 70s when I first landed there on the trading mm -hmm. floor in Chicago. All right, so uh, coming up, here's what's in the future. Here's what's in our telescope. Uh, the afternoon, all the action begins on the 15th. That'll be tomorrow afternoon. Jupiter will line up with Neptune and will be interested in cattle, continent oil. And take a look at those markets at that time, late on the 15th, maybe even early on the 16th, after the close, AC of the 15th. Again, after the close of the 15th into the 16th, we'll be looking for grains, precious metals, and gold. And then we have uh, 
for the yeah uh, yeah that's right and then by the way the, that uh, sort of goes along maybe with the, what you were saying there about take a look at the wheat uh, if mm -hmm. I think if it looks like the wheat as you showed the chart there was scraping bottom is that right Larry you're on the lows there right? uh, yeah yeah it was a, a submarine level <laughs> okay there yeah, you go well anyway if that continues for another day or so then I'd be that I would line that would line up with uh, our new moon here. And that would then the drains tend to dance to the moon, so that would uh, support your idea of a low there in the wheat, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, also for the, the beans, we've got more stuff coming up here though for the grains in just a minute. And then we have uh, let's see, Jupiter's gonna line up with Saturn the night of the 18th. 18th mm -hmm. is that a weekend? Yep, that's a weekend. And over the weekend, we'll have Jupiter and Saturn get together. Ooh. And that's uh, going to be cattle and coffee, cotton, and oil. And then the night of the 23rd, when is that? The 23rd is a Wednesday. Yep. Uh, Mercury, which is now in Virgo, oh, it will turn retrograde. And Virgo is soybeans, and Mercury in general is the grains. And so you want to look at corn. Soybeans and wheat again. There's your wheat, Larry. And then the night of the 25th, we have a new uh, the moon's north node be squared to the U.S. Pluto. That's the U.S. chart. Stocks, T bonds, U.S. dollar. And here's your wheat again, Larry. The night of the 25th, geocentric Mars and the sign Libra, which that's important for sugar and wheat. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's what we have coming up here. We're going to give you about 10 days there. And here we go. Here's if you don't know me, I've been doing this a long time, almost as long as Larry. Larry's got seniority over me, though. I've been doing Not this 45, much. 50 years. Started doing this stuff when I was in college back at in Terre Haute, Indiana, Indiana State. That's where I found the initial uh, stuff. And then I made enough money to buy, move to Chicago, and be a Chicago floor trader after that. And you can get a hold of me. Uh, here's my contact information. If you want, I'll give you uh, get you up to speed on some of these terminology, answer some of your questions, consult with you. What would be the best path for you, path for you to learn? Here's my information. Uh, you can call me at two three nine five nine four three nine three nine. You can call me for free anywhere in the world if you have Skype at nwhiskey underscore one. And here's my email and my contact down here. Two three nine five nine up four three nine three nine. We did all that. Here's my email, and whiskey at yahoo.com. Any questions or comments from the uh, 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 Tigers Den there, Larry? Uh, there is only one one question, and that's you just mentioned it before, and that is the the Bradley model that you do some uh, some uh, tweaking of the Bradley model. And the question is, what kind of tweaking uh, do you do? That's what the gentleman was asking. Well, I basically did. I I loved it when I. You know, you know the story, Larry, how I went out there to the uh, Honey Creek Square Shopping Center, not where yep. we used to live, right? Yeah, right on the farm. And uh, <laughs> was one, I was, it got my shopping done, and I wanted to, need to go back to, you know, the school you know, and waiting for the bus. And so I thought, oh, I'll go in this uh, bookstore and browse. It was a crock of batanos. And uh, that was uh, the second summer. The first summer, I found the astrology there. Second summer, I was already into this stuff. And on the side, I was already studying the stock market from the time I was 15 years old. So I was doing that mm -hmm. as a parallel track. And it occurred to me, you know, astrology is psychology. And the stock market is like 80, 90 percent psychology. Maybe there's a way to put these two things together. But I did not have a clue what to do. So I, I'm in the bookstore there one, one day, and I happen to glance down near the floor, and I see this one copy of a skinny little book, and it looks like it has the word stock market on the cover. I pick it up. It's Donald Bradley's stock market prediction, and uh, I flip through the book, and there it was. What I was uh, had dreamed of, that maybe it was possible to link the astrology with the stock market, and there he had it there. And in the middle of the book, which was I, I was initially interested in, he showed the 41-month business cycle and how the stock market went up and down with Jupiter and Uranus in the 41 business cycle. I grew up with that because my family had been in the scrap business, and we, we wow. that's what we, we lived on, the, the, the 41 business cycle, the ups and downs of the copper market and so forth, you know. 
And hey, so listen. I knew that, and so I went and researched that, and I ended up, to make a long story short, ended up buying my first stock I ever bought. It was good old Andacona Copper, was at the time the largest copper mining company in the world, and that's how I made my money that got me to Chicago to buy a membership on the CBOE. Anyway, if you're so that potential in the trading setups the book, in the wait. stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30 day money back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I still believe that the chart that I posted on the chart here today uh, for the Dow Jones Industrial Average has been above the 382 retracement for the last 10 days uh, is uh, very important. And so that's why I would uh, suggest that we're not going to go down until that breaks. That means the Dow would have to be down about 200 points here in the next couple of days. And if it does that, then yes, that would mean there could be some more selling. But remember, the, the uh, Apple has now dropped 8%, folks. So it's very oversold. Some of these stocks are you know, really uh, ready to rally. So we're going to find out if that uh, means very much or not. But that's what I'm watching. I think it's a very important. I put that in the newsletter. I talked about it. The fact that you, it's only, you know, the 16 stocks that are triple digit, but those are big stocks and people follow those. And when that happens, you got to pay attention to it. No question about it. So watch that Dow Jones. If we get below uh, 35 and the Dow Jones E-mini, if we get below 35,100, that's down 220 points uh, from where we are right now. And then we're going to find out whether that's going to be the, the case or not. So I hope that makes good sense to you. But that's what I'm paying attention to. I'm also, uh, we're trading at eight, uh, excuse me, 1942. 
In the gold, I still think we're going to make 1933. We rallied $11 off the bottom. Um, these markets are pretty accurate, so I'm still watching for maybe a lower low today or tomorrow at 1933, and then I'm going to be looking to put a position on in the long gold. We've already covered our short position, but what we're going to be doing now is uh, reversing and going long. So that's what we're watching here today. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and try to do something nice for your neighbors, folks, because that's what we're here for and help each other. And that's what's really important. So let's pay, you know, really close attention to that as we go through these. Now, remember, tomorrow's guest will be uh, Stan Harley and Wednesday is Bart DeLeone. And then Thursday is Mike Moore. We'll see you on the flip side, folks. Bye bye.